India's budget is expected to continue focusing on growth reforms. But can it counter the evils of poverty and wealth disparities? Now, the recently released Household Consumption Expenditure Survey paints a mixed picture of India's economic landscape. On the positive side, monthly per capita consumption expenditure has doubled over the past 11 years. And this indicates a rise in living standards with a narrowing urban-rural gap and a shift towards a more nutritious diet. However, a closer look reveals some concerning trends. Firstly, despite consumption growth, it hasn't kept pace with the much faster nominal GDP expansion. This suggests that the economic benefits are not being evenly distributed. Secondly, significant disparities persist. 90% of rural India spends less than $64 per month, with the bottom 10% struggling at $21. Coming to wealth disparity, a recently released Oxfam report shed light on a glaring data point. 5% of Indians own more than 60% of the country's wealth. India is also among the top countries with high income and wealth inequality. While poverty is on a decline, according to Niti Aayog, multidimensional poverty index is cited as a better parameter for a clear picture of poverty in the country. Looking beyond the data, the findings highlight the need for policy interventions that promote inclusive growth. The vast disparities in consumption expenditure call for measures that address income inequality and bridge the gap between the rich and the poor. Additionally, ensuring minimal market distortions and fostering an environment that benefits all sections of society are crucial for sustainable economic progress. All eyes are on the upcoming budget and what it has in store for India's economic future. We earlier spoke to D.K. Joshi, Chief Economist, Chrysal, on the economic survey and importance of private investments in boosting India's growth prospects. Listen into what he had to say. Now, economic survey makes a very interesting point, uh, which says that the private corporate sector is healthy, their, uh, their profits are growing. Wages uh, also need to keep uh, pace with the, with the growth in profitability of private sector because eventually demand is what is going to drive private investment and the demand can be driven by if you increase returns to, to labor, so to say. Uh, so I think that's, uh, uh, we'll, uh, that's an interesting uh, thought process. But we do believe that uh, that government will have to play an important role even in driving private investments.